Seventy percent of the salmon consumed in America is actually farm-raised salmon, typically known as Atlantic salmon. The other uh, form of salmon is the wild salmon, typically known as Alaskan salmon. Now, although both are exploding with that very special fat, omega-3 fats, and are amongst probably the very best food source of omega-3 fats, wild salmon has an edge when it comes to health over farm-raised. And there are a few reasons why. First of all, farm-raised salmon is going to have more saturated fat, which is not a healthy fat. It's also going to have a higher omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, which is something that we don't like. Okay, it's sort of again, it's a that's a negative for farm-raised versus wild salmon. The other concern is that some farm-raised salmon may have toxic environmental chemicals like PCBs and dioxins that have been associated with increasing cancer risk. And it's typically farm-raised salmon from the northern European farms. The other thing about farm-raised salmon is that we do have concerns uh, uh, that it's uh, effects on the environment. So you can almost always um, find uh, frozen wild salmon available in the average grocer. You can get fresh wild salmon about five to six months out of the year. And always find wild salmon in the can. So go for wild over farm raised, but if your only option is farm raised, I have no problems with, with you doing it, you know, within a balanced di diet and occasionally. For ICU, this is Dr. Ann. Until next time, enjoy health.